Hey everybody, how's it going today? Today we're going to do a fun topic about myself, you know, to get to know me. Anyway, my name's uh, Kevin Davis. I've been doing, you know, Christian YouTube videos going on two years now. Anyway, I figured I'd have a little bit of fun today and, you know, basically tell a little bit about myself and a little bit about my hobbies. Let me uh, say this. Yes, of course, you know I'm a child of God because I, you know, do Christian content on my channel and, uh, and I do enjoy, you know, spreading the word of God and reaching out to brothers and sisters of Christ and being a blessing to the body of Christ as much as I can. And and I hope and pray that my videos are encouraging and uplifting to people, you know, that's going through hard times, whatever their situation may be. I don't know what their situation is, you know, unless they tell me what their situation is. I mean, I think it's a blessing when, you know, you know, when you have people out there on YouTube like myself, you know, that you know, spread the word of God and, and they want to give good health advice and, you know, basically, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of like counselor or a Christian counselor. I don't know if you could say that or not, but, you know, I'm just trying it out. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know, you know, I've been doing Christian YouTube videos for two years and, and I, you know, praise God for that. I mean, I, I got discouraged over the years, but, you know, kind of deleted some videos and re-added them, but, Anyway, that's that. That sometimes that uh, happens. Sometimes I mean, sometimes you get a little bit discouraged. Sometimes, but or sometimes you'd be like, "Hey, wait a minute, did that, that video come out right?" You know what I'm saying? Because I want to, you know, be helpful to the body of Christ as much as I can. If you get where I come from, you know. Another thing about me is I, I I enjoy going to the beach a lot. I like going to the beach and and I enjoy going to the mountains. But my favorite part is the beach, really, because you know. That's uh, basically where my uncle lived at. He used to live where I live at, but he uh, moved to the beach and uh, basically, uh, you know, that took his uh, last breath there at the beach, you know what I'm saying, because that's where he passed away in the hospital there, and, and uh, he uh, loved the beach a lot, you know what I'm saying. It was real cool having an uncle at the beach, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I didn't go to the beach just to see the beach. I went there to see my uncle, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't about the fact that he was at the beach it was a fact that, you know, he lived, you know, anywhere he lived, I would have went to visit him. Even if it meant, you know, um, him living in the mountains, I still would have went to go see him at the mountains or if he was in the middle of the desert somewhere. I mean, I still would have went to go see him if I had, had a way to get there, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah, I mean, I enjoy going to the, going to the beach and, and, I, and I like the mountains too. They're pretty too, but... Now, I don't think I want to walk down them uh, steep embankments because some of them bad uh, place could be a drop off. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be toast, okay? And I sure don't want to be chilling with the bears, okay? But like I say, um, yeah, and, um, you know, that's uh, one of the things I like and that's one of my, you know, things I enjoy. But my hobbies, I enjoy working on speakers and car radios and, you know, electronics, and I have my little radio station that goes out three miles playing about, playing the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. And, you know, those are the things I jo always wanted as a teenager, I should say. You know, I always dreamed of as a teenager. Um, I always wanted my own little radio station. I always wanted, you know, my speakers. I always wanted radios. I always wanted to have this. I always wanted to have that. But... I mean, I'm blessed to say that those dreams came true, you know what I'm saying? Because I enjoy, um, you know, having a good time with my hobbies, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody needs a hobby in life to, to have something to enjoy, you know what I'm saying? Because if somebody didn't have a hobby in their life, something they enjoy, that burn it, you just go crazy, okay? I mean, I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> but I'm just being for real, okay? So, yeah, I enjoy uh, working a lot of fresh lights and, you know, mess with vehicles or uh, some too. I enjoy that, too, you know what I'm saying? And also, too, I mean, some of my favorite foods I like. I like, uh, you know, pizza and uh, spaghetti and pasta and, and um, what else I like? Uh, chicken and lasagna and all this other stuff. And by name, food, I mean, you guys are going to be hungry, okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I like it all, okay, but... But uh, <clears throat> another thing too, you know, about myself is, uh, you know, I've never been never been married. I mean, I would like to have a wife someday. That'd be great. But if I don't uh, ever experience that, uh, you know, 
in my life at all, you know, being married, then that's fine. You know, I'm not going to lose that sleep over because I had seen a blessing of marriage and I have seen the bad side of marriage. I have seen a good side of marriage and I seen a not so pretty side of marriage. Okay. You know, that's just one of the things, you know, um, you know, being 37 years old, looking back on life, you know, you know, I made some mistakes to myself, you know what I'm saying? I learned the do's and don'ts in life if you get where I come from. I mean, anybody could say, that, I mean, I don't know how many people could say they're perfect, but I guarantee, you know, if anybody says they're perfect, I mean, <laughs> you're perfect until I meet you, okay? You know what I'm saying? And I'm perfect until you meet me, okay? You know what I'm saying? But I just, I just for real and, for, and, and honest, it is straight up front, you know what I'm saying? Because... It's just who I am, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to put on the front in order to try to please somebody. I'd rather be like for who I am. If somebody don't like me for the way I am, you know, honestly, I don't need to put on pretend, you know, try to be like for somebody that I'm not. I'd rather be like for, you know, Kevin Davis, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather be like for me. You know, despite that I have low vision, I'm legally blind, you know, my eyes are like a video camera that's not zoomed in on one particular item. You know, I'll say this much, you know, of the times when you have a disability, one of the things I have learned in life, you know, of the times you find out who your true friends are and, and you find out, you know, how how many good, hard, generous people you have out there, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a blessing when you find people that enjoy your personality and enjoy the time you spend with them and enjoy the moments that you have together and, and enjoy what's in your heart instead of being so focused on the outward appearance, okay? You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, good looks are nice, but it's very rare when, you know, a great personality is included with the package that it looks, okay? You know, it's very rare when that's included with the package you begin where I come from. I mean, I basically, that's, you know, that's down to earth person, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I just love life and I love God and I love my family and friends. I mean, I love doing my videos on YouTube. I mean, I mean, it's a blessing to be able to do that, you know what I'm saying? And I love, um, you know, working on my electronics, my hobbies and different things. You get where I come from because it's a blessing to be able to do those things if you get where I come from. See me, though, I may not be popular on YouTube, but I praise God for you know, be, you know, just the fact of being on YouTube because, you know, back when I first started this channel, I was like, you know, Kev, if you don't uh, get a lot of subscribers, at least you could say you've been on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because some people give in a day to be on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Some people give in a day just to hear their voice online, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like some people give in a day that they have their own little radio station, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because... I mean, you never know how things could be if you don't never give it a try. Just like me. You know, I mean, I'm good at my hobbies. Had I had never tried to do what I do, I would have never even known what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Because when God is in it, things are possible. You know what I'm saying? When you put God in there, I mean, all things become possible. That's seem impossible to man, if you saw what I'm saying. So, yeah, I mean, I enjoy... You know, life, and I'm just a down to earth uh, child of God. That's who I am, you know what I'm saying? See, one thing, too, I say this, too. You know, I've met some wonderful people uh, through YouTube over the years, also. I mean, that, that's a, they're, they're wonderful people, and I pray for them daily, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, even though we don't talk much anymore, or, you know, I don't see them on the comments very much anymore, but, you know, I still pray for them. I still love them. I mean, I still. You know, pray to have a good life, if you saw what I'm saying, because, you know, because, you know, they, you know, are blessed, you know what I'm saying, because, like I say, when you, you know, pray for those that you don't see very often, or you pray for your friends that haven't seen in a while, that's a blessing, okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I was blessed to be able to have family and friends, you know what I mean, because, like I say, you know, each day when you wake up, it's a blessing to be on earth, you know what I'm saying? Each day you wake up, it's a blessing to be have two ears to hear, two eyes to see, and a mouth and nose that can breathe, and a, and a, and a mouth that can talk, and uh, you can, you know, use your arms and legs, and do whatever you need to do, you know what I'm saying? Some of the simplest things in life that sometimes we all the time, 
we tend to take it for granted, okay? You know what I'm saying? Just some of the simplest, small things, if you get where I come from. You know what I'm saying? You have family and friends. You have good health and strength. You have a roof over your head. You have food on your table. You have shoes on your feet. You have clothes on your, on your, on your body. You have a nice necklace around your neck. You know what I'm saying? You're just, you're just blessed. You know what I'm saying? You're blessed. I mean, some people just forget how blessed they are at times. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I myself have been guilty of that myself. You see what I mean? And see, that's what one of the cool things about uh, YouTube is. We, as a body of Christ, we can also, you know, reach out to those and be a reminder to the viewer, you know, how blessed you are, if you get where I come from. I mean, that's just one of the things I enjoy in life, you know what I'm saying? See, me, you know, I don't work anywhere. I get disability, but, see, the reason why I don't work anywhere because, you know, where I live, uh, you don't have very many good transportation uh, sources, I mean, but I just didn't want to put the employer, you know, in a bind, like, okay, you know, he can't find somebody to take him to work today, you know what I'm saying? You get where I come from, but like I say, but, <clears throat> and also, too, you know, when you find people that's patient with you and willing to work with you and knowing that though your eyes are not as perfect as theirs are, would they have patience with you if you get where I come from? I mean, some people do have patience, but then again, there's some people that don't, you know what I'm saying? But, and also, I love working out and lifting weights and staying in shape. And, you know, basically, I went from... 291, close to 300 pounds down to 215, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because I decided to get in shape because I wanted to get in shape for old Kev Kev, okay? I mean, that's who I wanted to get in shape for, for myself, okay? It feels good to climb up and down ladders. If I had to climb up and down ladders and do whatever I need to do, I mean, I have the energy, I can work on stuff, whatever I need to work on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this makes a big difference when you get stuff in so much shape. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember how things were before I was out, when I was out of shape. See, I did, I, the reason why I started to lose weight for, I just didn't want to enter into my 40s being overweight. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons why I, you know, decided, hey, you know, it's time to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, this is where I see where some guys make a mistake because oftentimes, I mean, I heard about guys doing this over the years and I think it's sad. You know, most times some guys, they will lose weight in hopes of getting a girlfriend or finding a wife. I mean, he gets a six-pack abs. I mean, he gets a looking nice and sharp and everything else. And then he gets rejected. And oftentimes, they basically practically end up gaining weight back if that, not that much more than where they were before, okay? So, I mean, that's the sad part. Since I was some guys, they was pay about uh, close about $3,000 if I'm wrong, correct me if I am, but they would pay about $3,000 just to have hair on their head. But, thing of it is, when they don't get hair on their, when it, excuse me, I'm sorry about that, when they don't get a girlfriend as they were advertised or a wife as they were advertised, they will quit. No, I mean, they will quit. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'd love to have her, but if I ever wanted to get it, I mean, I'll get it, but nah, I ain't gonna spend that much on her, you know what I'm saying? But it'll be because I wanted it, you know what I'm saying? It's better to be life for who I am instead of, you know, you know, being life for who I'm not, okay? Set aside some guys, they will be, you know, insecure about not having hair, okay? But there are some women out there that like potato heads, but then again, there's some women that don't like potato heads, okay? That's just honest. You know, that'd be different people like different things, you know what I'm saying? Different strokes for different folks. I mean, everybody's going to like different things. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on what your lingo is. What do you like, you know what I'm saying? But there are some guys that do get uh, insecure about you know, being bald, if you get where I come from. I mean, I used to be insecure about that myself years ago. I used to be. 
I mean, I would have done this number. I wouldn't have took my hat off years ago if I was a YouTuber like this, but I was all so dad burning and secure about it. It's all uh, me. <laughs> See, if I was uh, insecure, now nah, I wouldn't have been able to do that because I, you know, was so insecure about not having her, okay? Because there are some guys out there that'll, you know, have that insecurity and it's about themselves if you get where I come from. But like I say, but anyhow, but yeah, I mean, I enjoy going, I enjoy going shopping. I enjoy, you know, hanging out, the, hanging out at the malls and different things. It's hanging out at Walmart. I mean, don't have to buy anything. You know, sometimes you'd be, what most people don't understand is if you walk around the whole mall, the whole course of the mall, if it's a big mall, man, you could walk in some good miles in that place now just by walking around. That's a good exercise place. Yeah, that's why some people go to the mall sometimes. That's good exercise. You know what I'm saying? Because there's the good size malls. I mean, you dag on there about get about two good miles in there. You saw me. Because like I say, I mean, this Apple Watch right here. I mean, this thing will tell you when you work it out. How many miles you walked in the mall? <laughs> Heck yeah, I like that idea. But like I say, you know, just enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to put on the big, you know, front, big show, try and be you know, try to be like for somebody. That's just who I am, you know what I'm saying? I, I just lay back, chill, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people may say, wait, well, you just sound like it to yourself. Yeah, in a way, yeah. <laughs> but I just appreciate the ones that's by my side, though, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, you know, I don't have to put on a big front in order to be appreciated if you get where I come from. And, and I like going out to eat at restaurants and different things like that, you know, like, you know, uh, Made a lot of Taco Bell or something like that, or you know, there, there's so many restaurants out there, but it's been a while since so I, you know, ate out at anything fancy like that. But you know, like uh, American, not an American Roadhouse, y'all know you don't know what American Roadhouse is if uh, y'all don't live in Asheboro, you know what I'm saying? That's just a uh, you know, uh, just a thing in Asheboro, North Carolina, but uh, anyhow. Most people uh, <laughs> that's out of town don't know about that because I remember talking to one of my friends and they were like, what the heck is American Roadhouse? I thought that was everywhere. <laughs> but it's a pretty good restaurant. That's kind of like, uh, you know, Texas Lone Star Steakhouse, but it's a, you know, just a different name, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes it's just joy, just, uh, you know, just chill, you know what I'm saying? It's, um, you know, walk around Walmart sometimes, just see what I find, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes see who I see, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on life, just have fun. All thing you need is a good tank of gas and you're good to go, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you got to have some fun in life. You don't have to get drunk or have, go out and have parties and live in a wild YOLO lifestyle just to have fun. I mean, you could be just a laid back, chill person. I mean, you could be walk around a park, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, just chilling and laid back, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's ways to have fun in life, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's a basically a video about myself here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it may not be much. I mean, I may not have a whole lot of interest to going on, but, I mean, at least I'm content and, you know, satisfied with what I have, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, I don't have to put on a show in order to be you know, appreciate it because like I can say it's so that burn easy to get on the internet and say, Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I mean? You can just put on a show like that. <laughs> you know how some people could be on the internet sometimes, but not everybody, but mo most people, they could put on a daggone show and, and they'd be like, making themselves a lot more than who they not really are in their real life. You get where I come from. <laughs> I mean, it's good to be yourself and be like for who you are. You don't have to put on front in order to be like for who you are. If you got to put on front be, to, you know, be like and appreciate it, then there's a problem. You see what I mean? Because the wife is when you're not able to, you know, play pretend anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. It's always good to, have spirit of discernment of who you meet behind the internet, but sometimes, yeah, it's very easy for somebody to, uh, 
you know, hide stuff up underneath the rug, you know what I'm saying, versus seeing somebody in person, you know what I'm saying? Because it's easier to put on a show online than it is trying to put on a show in public, if you see what I'm saying. But like I say, it's a blessing when people appreciate you for who you are, you say what I mean? But I was like I say, you know, just living a laid back life, you know, just chill and relax, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like I say, you know, you know, just uh, enjoying the life that God gave me, you know what I'm saying? I just praise God for my family and friends, and I praise God for my YouTube subscribers. I praise God for it, and I praise God that, you know, I have a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? Because most people, yeah, I mean, don't, you know, give me anything to have something like that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, one thing, too, I will close with this. One thing about um, posting videos over two years on YouTube, um... I'll say this, I learned one thing is it helps you get more comfortable talking, you know what I'm saying? You're talking to different people, you know what I mean? Because to be honest, there's always a fresh batch of people coming across your videos versus people you cross paths with on in, in regular everyday life if you get where I come from because there's always a fresh batch of people that's um, you know, coming across the video and it drops comments here and yonder and they say, you know, great video, see you later, not nice seeing you, we'll see you around, you know what I'm saying? There's always a fresh batch of people coming around, you saw me, but some stay, then some go, you know what I'm saying? But some stay and they come, they go and they come back again, you know what I'm saying? But depends on how long, how long they want to stay, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, you just learn uh, to just appreciate the ones that uh, appreciate you as much as you appreciate them. If you get where I come from, it, it gives you that much more comfort, you know, being behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? You know, talking to the camera, you're like, hey, where's everybody at? I'm just one person talking to a camera in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of like those uh, YouTube golden days back when people used to feel kind of sort of uh, insecure about heck you know doing a cam do, doing a video in, in a room by yourself you know like how some people take the dad burn phone at walmart and just walk around doing a video vlog be like hey everybody i've been walmart today <laughs> darn i'd be afraid somebody about trying to uh think i'm a video in them or something <laughs> i'd say you know you got a lot of courage if you could uh, give you a hand clap for that but it got a lot of courage to uh, do a video blog, walking around Walmart like this. I mean, you're doing a video blog. You know what I'm saying? That takes a lot of courage. Uh, the way with some people are these days, I mean, some people just don't have fun. Have fun you know, some people may just think you're just videoing or trying to start something. You know what I'm saying? But you're just having fun. you just... You know, try to take your subscribers on a field trip, you know what I'm saying? You try to take your uh, followers on a field trip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, some people can be sometimes a pub, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing about it. The more used to uh, being on YouTube you become, it's the more laid back you become with, you know, doing videos like this, you know what I'm saying? And two, you know, like what some people talk about, um, you know, I'm going to go close with this for real, though, but I'm going to say this right quick. You know, one thing I have learned, too, over the years, don't be afraid of those negative comments. If you get negative comments on your videos, you know, where I've seen where other people on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, they get comments and they just all of a sudden just go blow off on them people, just blow off on them, just blow smoke. I learned, see, for me on my channel, the block button's my buddy, okay? I understand that some people disagree with me on certain things, but if somebody's just going to start trouble, I mean, that's when the block button's my buddy. That's when the block button will say, hello! <laughs> but, it, but if I'm wrong about somebody's incorrection, they correct me out of love about something, or, or if I'm in there about one of my videos about something, that's fine, but, but, was somebody just being mean, and some of the stuff I had seen on TikTok, pfft, dad, burn it, you wouldn't say that to somebody's face, would you? I mean, come on now. Some people, they just get the, you know, in a comfort zone of being behind the screen, you know what I mean? It's like, 
I made it this becomes their comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like their comfort zone. I mean, they just pretty much invincible behind the screen. You know what I mean? Because they're there when they say that kind of stuff in person. But that's just one of the things about over the years I just learned about social media is, you know, okay, I don't want drama on my page, so I just, if I see something like that, I just go ahead and block it right at the start. You know what I'm saying? It's at the root, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, you know, I have learned to also, if you have a disagreement with your friend or somebody, you know what I've seen over the years, you have a disagreement with somebody, don't make a video about them, okay? Don't make a video about your disagreements, okay? I mean, that's just bringing more people into it, and that's adding more fire to the fuel, okay? So, I mean, yeah, I said that backwards. I mean, say more fuel to the fire if you get work up from But... You know, it's better to, you know, just handle that stuff in private, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know, most people have made that mistake over the years, and I have seen that over the years myself. You know, like somebody be venting about their family member, or somebody be saying something about so-and-so, somebody be saying something about their friend, and next thing you know, it's all over Facebook, it's all over social media, it's blew out of proportion, you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody that's on your dad burn friends list is for you. Not everybody's on your friends list care for you not everybody that's on your friends list is cheering you on or or happy about your friendship or happy about your relationship or happy about your confidence with because there's some people out there that jealous busybodies they'll do anything to cause division and so discord so i mean i mean it's got to be careful with that but like i say see that's the thing about it too i mean it's got to you know, keep that stuff, you know, just between that person and all saying instead of just taking it to social media. I mean, most of us made that mistake in the past and we learned better, but there's still some people out there. Heck, they still haven't learned a darn thing. <laughs> I mean, it's still going at it. But then again, you have some people that uh, causes problems with some people on their social media platform and they turn the comments off because, you know, uh, whatever was going on, but then, then again, you're punishing other people, you know, that's not trying to start anything, you're punishing them, because, see, my motive is, and I thought, and, and one thing too, and I'm pretty sure any other YouTubers, you know, uh, you would, would agree with me on this, uh, that's the purpose of YouTube, I mean, you post a video, people interact with you, that's the purpose of uh, TikTok, you post a video, people interact with you, so I mean, I mean, I mean, it's their preference. If they want to turn their, you know, comment section off, that's fine. But there have been plenty of times before I was like, I want to leave a good video, not, not a video. I mean, I want to leave a comment because I thought their content was a great uh, point and I want to add my feedback also. And I'd be like, dang, <laughs> well, no comment in here, so... Well, that's what I leave you a compliment, so. Next, you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I mean, different people has got their different preferences, you know what I'm saying? But like I could say, you know, it does feel good, you know, when you have comments able and people will leave comments because it just makes you feel like, hey, I'm not just talking to myself on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not just talking to myself on Facebook, and I'm just talking to myself on TikTok, Instagram, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it does feel good when you have some people interact with you, you know what I'm saying? It does feel good, though, because, you know, that makes it more fun, you know what I'm saying? Because that's part of social media, you know, you interact with each other, you know what I'm saying? But that's a blessing, though, when you you know, have people that appreciate your videos as much as you appreciate doing them yourself, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, you know, me, though, know, I was doing it out of kindness of my heart because I enjoy reaching out to people and being a courage or an uplifter. And two, as I said before, earlier, I mean, I'm going to close there, but I'll say this one thing. You know, you can tell you, that I love to talk. I mean, I enjoy talking. I enjoy talking to people. That's the reason why I say it sometimes. You know, hey, I'll go close here in this video, but, you know, a few more 20 minutes later, or maybe it's 10 minutes later, <laughs> I'm still going. But see, sometimes, oftentimes, too, when the Lord gives me something else to say, something pops to my mind, and I just completely clueless before then, 
I just go ahead and say that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm not scripted here. I mean, I figured, well, since I'm legally blind and I'm not perfect, I don't have perfect eyes, I mean, I just go ahead and just go on my channel and edit it. You know what I'm saying? See what happens, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's join life. You know, life is what you make it. You can make life a good thing or you can make life a bad thing. It all depends on your attitude and how your outcome of life will turn out, okay? So I'll leave y'all with that. If y'all have any questions or feedback or anything, or if there's anything you think I should have added into this video, uh, you know, feel free to leave those in the comment section. I'll see you guys back in my next video. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. God bless each and every one of y'all.